Hello everyone, how are you? So in this lesson we will be studying about allergy. Uh, this course is presented by me Navneet Sharma. You can know more about me from here. You can follow me on this link. And if you like the lesson, kindly rate, review and recommend. So beginning with the lesson. Allergy involves an exaggerated response of the immune system, often to common substances such as foods or pollen. The immune system is a complex system that is uh, that normally defends the body against foreign invaders such as bacteria and viruses and other, other pathogens while also surveying for abnormal changes in the individual's own cells such as cancer cells. Okay, so I've already uh, made a brief description in the previous lessons so you can refer to them for studying immune system. So the allergens are the substances that are foreign to the body and that cause an allergic reactions okay so ige is the allergic antibody although many individuals outgrow allergies over time allergies can develop at any age including during the adulthood okay now while the environment plays a role in development of allergy there is a greater risk of developing allergy conditions if a person has a family history of allergy, especially in parents or siblings, okay, that is the genetic basis of allergy, okay. Now, uh, what is an allergy? An allergy refers to an exaggerated reaction by the immune system in response to exposure to certain foreign substances. The response is exaggerated because the foreign substances are normally seen by the body as harmless and non, uh, non, in non-allergic individuals and do not cause a response in them okay in which the allergy is not, not means allergy is not producing any kind of response in allergic individuals on the other hand the body recognizes the foreign substance and the allergic part of immune system generates a response so allergy uh, shows its uh, its symptoms okay so allergy producing substances are called as allergens examples of allergens include pollens dust mites molds animal proteins foods and medications when an allergic individual comes in contact with an allergen the immune system mounts a response through the ige antibody people who are prone to allergies are said to be allergic or atopic okay now what causes allergies a common scenario can help explain how allergies develop. A few months after a new cat arises, uh, arrives in the house, the dad begins to have an itchy eyes and episodes of sneezing. One of the three children develops coughing and wheezing. The mom and other two, two children experience no reaction whatsoever despite the presence of the cat. How can this occur? The immune system is the body's organized defense mechanism against foreign invaders particularly infections its job is to recognize and reach these foreign substances which are called as antigens antigens often lead to an immune response through the production of antibodies which are protective proteins that are specifically targeted against the particular antigens these antibodies or immunoglobulins that is that can be i IgG, IgM, IgA, okay, are protective and help destroy a foreign particle by attaching to its surface, thereby making it easier for other immune cells to destroy it. The allergic person, however, develops a specific types of an type of antibody called immunoglobulin E or IgE, okay, in response to the certain normally harmless foreign substances such as cat dander okay means it is a kind of protein other antigens such as bacteria do not lead to production of ige and therefore do not cause any allergic reactions once ige is formed it can it can recognize the antigen such as a cat dander and then trigger an allergic response ige was firstly discovered and named in 1967 by kimishige and Typically, there is a period of sensitization ranging from days to years prior to an allergic response. Although it might occasionally appear that an allergic reaction has occurred 
on the first exposure to the allergen there needs to be prior exposure in order for the uh, immune system to react it is an important to realize that it is impossible to be allergic to something that an individual has truly never been exposed to before although the first exposure may be subtle or unknown the first exposure can even occur in a baby in the womb through a uh, breast milk or through the skin okay ige is an antibody that all of us have in small amounts allergic individuals however generally produce ige in larger quantities historically this antibody was important in protecting us from parasites now in the example provided above during a sensitization period cat dander ige is uh, overproduced and coats other cell involved in the allergic response such as mast cells and basophils which can contain which contain various mediators such as histamine these cells are capable of leading to an allergic reaction on subsequent exposures to the cat allergen okay the cat protein is recognized by the ige leading to the activation of cells or the cells uh, which leads to the release of allergic mediators mentioned above these chemicals cause typical allergic symptoms such as localized swelling inflammation itching and mucus production once primed or sensitized the immune system is capable of mounting this exaggerated response with subsequent exposures to the allergen now who is at the risk for allergies allergies can develop at any age but most food allergies begin at a young age and many are outgrown environmental allergies can develop at any time the initial exposure or sensitization period may even be begin before birth individuals can outgo allergies over time it is not fully understood why one person develops allergies and other does not but there are this uh, several risk factors for allergic conditions now exposure to tobacco smoke and air pollution increases the risk of allergy family history or genetics play a large role with higher risk for allergies if parents or siblings have allergies there are numerous other risk factors for developing uh, allergic reactions now what are the common types of allergic conditions and what are allergic symptoms and signs the parts of body that are prone to allergic symptoms include eyes nose lungs skin and gastrointestinal tract although the various allergic diseases may appear different they all result from an exaggerated immune response to foreign substance in the sensitized individuals the following are the common allergic disorders first one being allergic rhinitis also called as hay fever second one is asthma third one is allergic eyes or also called as conjunctivities which include inflammation of the tissue layers that is membranes that cover the surface of eyeball and the under surface of eyelid next we have eczema that that can also be called as atopic dermatitis uh, dry skin associated with the sig uh, significant itching is uh, found in this then next is uh, hives also called as uh, articular uh, urticaria the skin reactions that appear as a red raised itchy welts and can occur at any part on the body next one is anaphylaxis life threatening condition that occurs when blood vessels dilate excessively due to an allergic reaction which causes significant drop in blood pressure now what are the allergens allergens may be inhaled ingested eaten or swollen applied to the skin or injected to the body either as medication or in adherently by an insect sting the symptoms and conditions that result depend largely on the root of entry and type of allergen the chemical structure of allergen affects the route of exposure uh, airborne pollens for example tend to have a little effect on the skin they are easily inhaled and will thus cause more nasal and respiratory symptoms with limited skin symptoms when allergens are swallowed or injected they may travel to other parts of the body and provoke symptoms that are remote from their point of entry for example allergens in food may prompt the release of medicators sent skin and causes hives okay so this lesson ends here thank you guys for watching